Welcome to Firebase Release Notes for October, where we cover recent big and small updates from Firebase. And we have eight topics today, so let's dig in right away. First, some updates on Firestore, starting with the availability of the SUM and average operators in our SDK for client-side JavaScript developers. Now, here are some code samples for all of these aggregation operators. These new aggregations work on just the data in your indexes, like the count operator that we launched last year. And this means that you can now count, sum, and calculated averages over multiple documents at a fraction of the cost of reading those documents. With the JavaScript SDK out, we expect the other client-side SDKs to follow in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out for those SDK and documentation updates too. We also keep adding Firestore to more locations, making it newly available in our data centers in Paris, Doha, and Tel Aviv. And that means that you can now use Firestore in a total of 28 regional locations across six continents. In recent releases of the Firebase command line interface, we added a bunch of improvements. First up, you can now use our CLI to turn point-in-time recovery on or off on the Firestore databases in your project. And you can now also configure the logging level for emulators through the new dash dash log dash verbosity flag. Now, this was a long-standing feature request, as reducing the emulator's logging should make it much easier to find your own logs in the output. And finally, deploying multiple cloud functions for Firebase Gen 2 now uses so-called single builds. And this means that all the functions that come from the same source are now deployed with a single build on the server, which makes the deploy operation much faster. Firebase App Check reduces abuse by checking that the calls come from your genuine app on an untempered device before allowing access to your project's backend resources. Since September 25th, AppCheck is offered under the Google Cloud Platform Terms of Service, which removes a significant adoption friction for customers who already use Google Cloud. Now, if you didn't see a banner yet to accept the new Terms of Service, visit the Firebase console today to switch over. Firebase projects on the free-to-use plan can no longer host certain file types that are common in abuse scenarios. Specifically, since September 28, Firebase hosting and storage block the upload of these common executable file types that are often used to target abuse at Android, iOS, and Windows users. And as said, this only applies to projects on the free plan. So pay-as-you-go projects on the Blaze plan are unaffected and can continue to host these file types. The Crashlytics dashboard now lets you filter and search Android issues by device categories like tablet, watch, desktop, and phone. We shipped the filtering in June already, but the search is new based on developer feedback. And this means that we now have the same device filter and search capabilities across iOS and Android. Firebase Authentication's email enumeration protection makes it harder for malicious users to find out what email addresses exist in your project by changing the responses of some APIs and disabling other APIs completely. For Firebase projects created since September 15, this email enumeration protection is enabled by default. And since this changes the behavior of the existing APIs, though, your existing code may behave differently on these new projects. So be prepared to change your code for the new abilities. And check the documentation on email enumeration protection that I linked below, which also shows you how to disable the protection so that the API reverts to its previous behavior. And finally, Test Lab has added the Google Pix 8 and Pix 8 Pro devices to its catalog. So go to the Test Lab page in the Firebase console to get started testing your apps on these devices or to get direct streaming access to them. Those were all the updates we have time for today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. Now, my name is Frank, or Puff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.